So to start things off, I just want to give a big thank you to EA for sponsoring and providing our first eight theme teams on a side account for our theme team series. For those of you who don't know, last year we did a theme team series where we used all 32 NFL teams and then proceeded to rank them based on how they played. And I'm excited to do it again this year. I hope you all are too. And for today's video, we're going to be using the San Francisco 49ers. So I'm very excited to be using in today's episode. Now quickly here, I wanted to break down before we jump into the video, what we're going to be playing for with these top three rankings that we're going to be updating each and every episode. So Mike commented on the last video with a great idea about taking 50 out of 50 theme teams and then updating it with extra players that didn't necessarily play for that team. We could do whoever we wanted past that point as long as we were at the 50 out of 50 players. So I thought it was a great idea. I asked, do you mind if I show this idea? Do you mind if I share this comment? Because I thought it was an awesome idea. So what we're gonna be doing is at the end of the series, once we've already done the theme team MVPs, we're gonna be taking the top three teams that, that were ranked top three at the end of it, and then we're going to be redoing them with 50 out of 50 theme teams, and then any players that we decide to use past that point. So I thought that was a great idea. Now let's jump into the video. What's good, everybody? And we're back. And today, we're going to be doing the San Francisco 49ers. I'm super excited about it, so I don't want to take too long on this intro. We're just going to quickly update you on the rankings. We did put the Seahawks at three, and even though they didn't lose any games, but the Ravens did lose one, we put them at three because I felt like they weren't able to get some of the abilities that we wanted on both sides of the ball. So on offense, they weren't able to get Gunslinger or Hot Route Master, and the Ravens weren't able to do that either if we use Lamar Jackson. But then on defense, they weren't able to get one step ahead, which is my favorite ability on defense right now. On current gen and we're playing on next gen and current gen we're playing one game on each approximately so that matters on both ends so i wanted to be able to have those abilities on defense and they weren't able to get us so that's why we put them at three all the teams have been solid so far very excited about using the 49ers now let's jump over the lineup so for this niners lineup we have joe montana as our starting qb reggie bush and raheem mostert are both going to be starting because we have two running backs in the split close we have Randy Moss as our wide receiver number one. And then we have Brandon Ayuk as our wide receiver number two. Now, the reason why we went with Ayuk as opposed to Ed McCaffrey, who's actually a higher overall, was because of that plus three speed that Ayuk has. So if you want to go with McCaffrey for a little bit higher route running, you can do that as well. George Kittle's our starting tight end, who's actually won less speed than Vernon Davis, but had over 90 in short route running and over 90 in the medium route running. So that's why we went with George Kittle. O-line is solid across the board with 87 plus at every single position. And then ability wise, we're gonna have 12 AP now. So, but even though we have 12 AP, some of the abilities actually change in how much AP they cost. So it's not too much of a difference here. Randy Moss, we just have double me. Larry Allen, we have threat detector, which is one of those abilities that went up. It was two before, now it's three. Kittle, we have mid out elite. Joe Montana, set beat lead and hot route master. Reggie Bush with backfield master and Raheem Mostert with backfield mismatch. We don't need backfield master on Raheem Mostert because we actually have the hot route master on Joe Montana. We just went with master on Bush because it was still only one AP. Ayuk, we just have double me. Mike McGlinchey, we have edge protector. And then Trent Williams, we had edge, uh, we had edge protector as well. So that's it for the offense. Jumping over to the defense here, we have Ronnie Lott as our starting free safety. Jimmy Ward, a very solid backup free safety. We have Dre, uh, Dre Greenlaw, Patrick Willis, Fred Warner, Ricky Jackson. We have Taylor Mays, and then we have, uh, I believe it's Jaquiski Tart at, as, our, as our backup strong safety. And then at cornerbacks, very excited about the cornerbacks. Rob Woodson's going to be our cornerback number two. We have Deion Sanders as our cornerback number one. Namdi Asamoa is our cornerback number three. And then we have Carlos Rogers as well. And then we also have Richard Sherman. So very excited about the DBs on the San Francisco 49ers. The, actually, honestly, the whole defense in general, very excited about awesome D-line as well across the board. So definitely really excited to use this uh, 49ers defense. As far as abilities go, again, up to 12 AP. We're, we're going to be using um, a lot of run stopping abilities, but we do have a couple of pass rush abilities as well. We have universal coverage on Dion and Rod Woodson and on Namdi. No abilities, just those X factors. If they get activated, I feel like they play really well. And then Nick Bosa, we have double or nothing. DeForest Buckner, we have inside stuff. Ronnie Lott, secure tackler. Ricky Jackson, double or nothing. Secure tackler on Willis on Taylor Mays as, long, as well as Out My Way. And then Tart, we have Secure Tackler as well. So mostly run-stopping abilities, but we do have a couple double or nothings as well. And then getting over to team strategy here, we're going to be in the Patriots offense for the next-gen games. When we're on current gen, we're going to be in the Raiders offense, and then we're going to be in the Giants defense for both. That is it for the team. Let's jump into the game. Here we go with game one. You see our team. You see their team. We're going to be on next-gen for this one. Here we go. They're gonna be coming out in this bunch tight end, which is a very effective passing formation this year. And actually usually gives me a lot of trouble 
And on the first play, we actually, that looked like it was actually wide open, but we got an illegal contact first play. So they're going to get a first down off that. This gives me a lot of trouble. Pretty much every year, bunch tiny gives me a lot of trouble. I'm not sure why, but it does. Oop, nope, nope, nope. Adjustments weren't what I wanted. There we go. All right, all right. We're all set up here. And uh, we're gonna try. We're gonna try to stop these crossers. The crossing routes are really effective out of this bunch tight end. So I'm watching this middle one. Uh oh, they're gonna have a touchdown. Oh, I thought they had a touchdown right there. Nice knock. I thought they had a touchdown. So we actually have a middle linebacker in the deep blue this time. So we shouldn't have to worry about that deep post going over the top. We can kind of just focus on the crosser if that's the play that they go to. Ooh, Ronnie, Ronnie, what a play, Ronnie Lott. First play here. We're looking for Randy Moss going deep. We're looking for Randy Moss going deep. I think we're gonna have it. I think we're gonna have Randy Moss. Oh! I thought we had it. That is okay. That is okay. We're going back to it. We are going back to that play because I feel like we can get Randy Moss going deep again. I think it could be there. I think it could be there. And I'd love to get, I'd love to activate double me on Randy Moss at some, at some point during this video. That's what I would love to do. They have a middle linebacker the deep blue this time. I still want to try it. I still want, it's not there. It is not there. Kent, it is not there. I wanted to try it. I wanted to try it. Yeah. All right. Well, if, if we see a middle linebacker in the deep blue next time, we won't throw it. Just in the last possession, I talked about a middle linebacker in the deep blue being there to help stop the middle post. And then I throw a middle post against what looked like to be a middle linebacker in the deep blue. Not sure if we should not have done that. We should not have done that. Oh no, that's a laser. That is an absolute laser. We have a 20 yard purple on that left side to stop that corner route now. Oh, nice read. Nice read. We had the 20 yard purple on the right too. So the drag's wide open. Nice play. I'm watching the middle of the field here. Oh, absolutely. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, bunch tight end is really effective and gives me trouble all the time. Great drive. We're just going to run the ball to try to get to a hash mark right here. This is a really important drive. It's a really important drive to try to answer back right here on Wheeler post right here. We're going Wheeler post. I think we have our flat on the outside. I actually think we have our flat on the outside. Let's go, Brandon. Let's go, Brandon. Oh, nice job, Brandon. We're going back to Wheeler Post right here. I think it could be there for us. Oh, we had the angle. We had the angle early. Oh, no. We're going to be on a fourth down. We're going to go for it. We are going to go for it here. This is a tough spot, though. This is a tough spot because we don't pick this up. We could go down two possessions as long as they don't turn the ball over because they're going to already be in field goal range. They're already going to be in field goal range. I think we might have our we might have our deep skinny post. Or we might have this slant here for a first down. We're looking for either or. Oh no, we have neither. We have neither. We have neither. We have neither. We had the corner out late and we didn't throw it. We are in big trouble for this one. We are in big trouble for this one because we're not playing. It's not like we're playing the best defense either. I mean, they just scored on this last drive. So we're going to be in some trouble here. We have to try to figure something out. And I'm not to try to figure out just something for bunch tight end in general because bunch tight end gives me a lot of trouble. I've already said that several times in this video, but you've already seen them. We've got to send our flat here. Oh, they had the delay fade too. I, the delay fade is something that gives me trouble. It gave me trouble uh, last year. It's given me trouble this year. This is a big third down right here. We have a chance to get a stop to hold to three. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. That was a super laser. All right, we're down 14, nothing. We are down 14, nothing. We do have some time here. We have pretty much the entire second quarter plus one play. So we have a chance to get back in this game and it's gonna be our ball at half. We have to start right here. well in this game we have not started well in this game but we're gonna try we're gonna try to get back in it here we have a chance this time we gotta try to get back in it definitely not the way we wanted to start the game though definitely not the way that we wanted to start the game and we and we really haven't shown that we're gonna be able to stop them on defense either so either way we are just kind of in trouble but if we don't get a stop right here and we go down three possessions i'm not really sure what we're gonna do to get back in this one so we'll do our best we'll see how it goes and we'll go from there. I'm using I'm using teammates now. I'm gonna use her the safety. Maybe that'll help us with stopping this bunch tight end. Hopefully we don't give up a playmaker. Hope we don't give up a playmaker. Okay, that's better than give up a big play. We I, I'm not really sure how we want to adjust to this defense uh, to this offense right now on defense because if we're in cover three, we're having we're having trouble, and if we're in cover if we're in cover two, we're having trouble. So either way, we've kind of had trouble. I'm gonna have a spy out there uh, just to help us. Help us contain the, the rollout from Herbert because they've been rolling out when they go to that PA play. Yes, that's exactly what we needed. That is exactly what we needed. Watching this left side here. 
Yes! All right, we got a big third down right here. I don't want to give up anything to even make it a reasonable fourth down. Hopefully, we don't give up any yards. I don't want to get too aggressive and give the first down up. But ideally here, we don't make this a manageable fourth down so we can get off the field. So we're going to play sticks, but we're also going to watch underneath. We're going to watch underneath with our user. We have a spy so they, don't, they can't uh, like scramble for some extra yards. And I'm watching the middle. This is our chance to get back in the game right here. And Ronnie Lott makes a big time play. Let's go. We have a chance here. We have a chance here. Let's go. Just running the ball to get to a hash mark right here. We have some space with Mostert. We have some space with Mostert. All right. Now, we, we haven't played great offense so far in this game, but I think our flats are actually going to be available. So that's what we're looking for right now. We are looking for our flats. We'll put an out route uh, from Moss. I feel like the flats are what's going to be there for us. And then we'll go Wheeler Post as well. Just looking to, to pick up short yardage because we've tried to go deep and we've thrown a couple picks. Never option. I'm not. We just have to take what's underneath. Sometimes you just got to take what's underneath and then see. Let's, like Reggie Bush just makes a play right there. Reggie Bush just makes a play. And that's sometimes what you got to do, right? Just allow your players to make a play for you without having to just throw the ball deep. So that's what we're going to do here. I would like this to be the last drive of the of the half, not give them the ball back. Because again, we have struggled on defense for the majority of this one. And then we will get the ball at halftime. So we have a chance of getting right back into this game if we can get seven right here. So that's the goal. Last drive of the half, get seven. Those are the two goals right here. We're going to run the ball again since we're not on a hash mark. But I also feel like this run's been there for us. That, ooh, nice play from Calvin Johnson. I feel like that run's been there. We're, we're gonna go to um we're gonna go to double wheels here because what they've done is they've actually manned up our wheels a lot so if they do that again we should have one of our flats on the outside e either on moss's side or iuk side that's what we're looking for we have moss we have moss oh no oh no oh no fourth down i i kind of want to go for it i kind of want to go for it i feel like the seven's a really big play here so we're gonna go for this if we don't get it again we are in big trouble but if we do pick it up we're right back in this game so we're actually going to put a post on kittle we're going to put a post on kittle just in case just in case they're in uh, man coverage and our wheels aren't there we have our flats and we have our post no we have really struggled on offense for this game but you know what if we don't give up any points before half here i'm still i'm still confident we can get back in this one i really am i'm still confident we can get back in this game we haven't played well offensively and we haven't played well defensively, but we've had our opportunities. So if we don't get up any points right here, we're right back into it at halftime. Yes. All right. All right. So we're going to go to halftime here. We are down the two touchdowns, but it's our ball. If we can get a seven to start the half, we'll be right back in this game. They have played really, really well defensively, though. They have prevented us from being able to do pretty much what we've wanted to do the entire game, which is go over the top. And then we, they, they've taken away our running backs. The running backs are a big part of this split close offense, and they've taken that away. So if they're going to continue to man them up, what we're going to do is we're going to kind of use them as decoys, right? We're going to put them both on wheels right here. But we have two hitches on the middle side. We should have one of them. We're going to have B. Nice, nice, nice. Again, I talked about this on the last drive. We got to take our short stuff if it's there, right? We, we kind of just have to. If it's available to us, we kind of have to take it. We're gonna do double options from the running backs here. If they are in, if they're in man, those they should get open because they have backfield master and mismatch. Ooh, I almost threw that post and it wasn't open. We had Moss on the outside, I missed it. I'm gonna try to scramble here. Try to scramble, get out of bounds. Run with those double options again. I like the way that's looked. We have our flat. We have our flat. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Nice, nice, nice. We're going a little bit slower on this drive than I want to. But at the same time, we kind of just make, need to make sure we get this score, right? So I can't make any mistakes trying to force the ball downfield. I think we have this run to the left. I think we have this run to the left. Let's go. Let's go, Mostert. Let's go, Mostert. Let's go, baby. Oh, no. Thank you. Ooh -hoo. Thank you for going out of bounds right there. We're actually not on conservative. I'll, I'll go to conservative now just to make sure we, uh, we don't fumble. Our players are probably tired, too, because... We've been just trying to go as quickly as we can, calling our plays, calling our plays, calling our plays. I'm hoping that they don't man up our running backs right here. I really am, because we're looking for the double wheels. That's our main red zone play is the double wheels. So if they man them both up, we're going to be in some trouble here. They didn't. They didn't. We have Reg. Reggie Bush, let's go. We're right back in the game. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Good job, Buckner. We got stuck right there. Great job. We have a spy here, and we're lurking in the middle of the field ourselves. Ronnie, Ronnie, no, I thought Ronnie was going to get a pick right there. We got to back Ronnie up, I guess. We got to back Ronnie up a little bit. So they score quick, which, of course, we didn't want them to score there. But 
if they're gonna score that's probably the way we want them to do it to leave us a little bit more time to answer because we still need two more scores again we're looking for our drag or our options here we have our drag we have our drag kittle nice job getting the good job staying in bounds right there kittle that was a great play come on let's we gotta we gotta keep it going we gotta keep it going right here and again, we just have to keep taking our uh, our shorter routes. Ideally, we get out of bounds on them at, at, for the most part because that way we can um we can just get out of bounds and stop the clock. But if we can't get out of bounds, we kind we just have to take the stuff that's available to us. We can't force the ball downfield and make any more mistakes. That table route looks like it's going to be there. They're not. It looks like they're only manning up the running back on the two wide receiver side right now. So that's the that's the table route we can go to, and then we'll have the hitch on Randy Moss. I should go double tables. I'm gonna go double tables with double hitches. I think one of the others should be there. Either the table routes from the running back or the hitches. I think we have that hitch there. Nice job, Ayuk. Nice job. I think we'll have one of the hitches. Oh, that was the Kittle. That was the Kittle. I was trying to throw Kittle, but we got we got hit as we threw. And then I'm going to the hitch, and instead of it being a pick, it's actually a catch for a first down. We will take that. We will definitely take that right there. We're going back to the double hitch setup that we've been liking. We should have one of them. We have the table. I missed it. We have the table. I missed it. Can we roll out of bounds? Ah, that's my fault. If we if we had thrown that earlier, we could have got out of bounds for sure. But I had to make sure we tap, uh, toe tap to stay in bounds. I'm going to keep doing this setup because I feel like we'll either have the hitches or the table routes on the outside. We have the hitch this time. We have the hitch this time. I just want to score before the two-minute warning. The goal here is to try to score before the two-minute warning. We are on conservative, so I don't have to worry as much about hit sticks. We can still fumble, but it's less than when it's on balance, so... Looking for our hitch again. Looking for our hitch again. Can we get in the end zone, Ayuk? Can we get in the end zone? I, I don't want to take the hit stick right there. But our players are tired. Our players are tired, but hopefully their players are tired too. We're going to run the ball. Oh, nice. They, I think they're in man coverage because they, fl they flip with us pretty much automatically right there. Ready? We're in. All right. We score before the two-minute warning. We're down seven. We just need one stop. We need one stop. Oh, no. It's a run play. It's a run play. Good tackle. Good tackle. Playing hard flats right here. Hoping that takes everything away. Rod with a great knockout. Okay. Third down right here. This is the biggest play of the game so far. This is the biggest play of the game so far. We're going to play cloud flats this time. We're going to play cloud flats. We have our spy. And we're going to play cloud flats. I'm hoping. I'm hoping that we can make the play again. I'm watching this crosser. They have the drag. That's my fault. Oh, no. That's going to get them to field goal range. That might got, that might have just gotten them to field goal range. We're going to have to get some pressure right here to knock them out of it. That is my fault. I should have just played hard flats again. I should have just played hard flats again. That's completely my fault. That is completely my fault. One of the run defense. No, 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 no. That's, that's probably going to do it. That is probably going to do it. We just didn't do what we need to do today. So we didn't get the win. And we're going to call it. Great game to our opponent. We're on to game two. Here we go with game two. You see their team. You see our team. We're going to be on current gen for this one. Here we go. We're going to be starting this one on offense. Just going to run the ball to try to get to a hash mark. That was really good run defense. But we actually did change up our abilities a good amount on both sides of the ball for this game. We'll go. We'll talk about defense when we get on the defensive side of the ball. But for offense, we got rid of backfield mismatch on Mostert since Mostert's going to be out wide for us playing in that middle slot position. And then uh, we also got rid of threat detector. And then we ended up adding... We got matchup nightmare on the tight end, and we also got Rauch Nishin on IU. So those are the. Th oh, I did not. I was not trying to hike it. Look, we got we got our table run. I was not. Uh, I did not want to hike the ball right there. We didn't set up our play. But those are the abilities that we have on offense, and then we'll talk about defense when we get on that side of the ball. But I play a lot differently on uh, current gen than I do on next gen. I just feel like the games play differently. So on both sides of the ball, we're gonna be a little bit different. So we're gonna be a field out drive though, just trying to see what our opponent likes to do. Are they blitzing? Are they playing coverage? Are they? Playing cover two, cover three. They playing more man coverage. Ooh, I think we we had our tight end post right there. But it looks like a lot of zone to start the game, at least on these first few plays. Looking slander post right here. I think we have Ayuk. Nice catch, Ayuk. The big third down right here. We don't want to get to a fourth down early on in this, in this game. I think we have our slant. Nice job, Randy. I like to get to a fourth down on that first drive. Get a little bit nervous on it, right? I don't like to put a, put pressure on the drive like that because you you kind of want to get a score on that first drive of the game right you don't know what they're going to do on offense you don't know if they're going to struggle stopping them or not i try to i i like to get a score on that first drive just to get a little bit of a cushion for the game i believe this is man coverage here since there's no corner on the outside oh kittle nice job kittle and that was like that we have mid in elite i actually forgot to mention that we switched from mid out elite to mid in elite and that looked like it was activated right there just because that didn't look that open, but Kittle still made the play. So I'm going to assume that that was because of mid and elite. 
Great catch right there by Kittle. We'll take it. We're either looking for our slant right here. Or we're looking for this skinny post across the middle. I think we have Randy. I think we have Randy. Can we the toe tap? No, we didn't get the toe tap. That's cool. That was a little bit tight. That was a little bit of a tight window there. It actually wasn't. It actually wasn't man like I actually thought it was gonna be. But this looks like it's, this. This does. It either it's man to line or it's gonna be man uh, man to man because there's no corner on that outside there on the right side. They're all lined up on the wide receivers on the left. So we're looking for Randy Moss again. Or we'll look for our slant going across the field. I think we have Randy. I think we have Randy. Let's go, Randy Moss. They're coming out in this I form here. We're looking to shoot the gap on any run plays. Give me a pass. I got to that flat. Nice play. Nice play. Oh, I got to watch the running back. I got to watch the running back. Oh, oh, that was actually a nice little animation right there. We had Acrobat. I, I actually forgot to talk about our abilities. We actually have three Acrobats and we have three one step aheads. We didn't get to that pick there, but it actually looked pretty cool. But you see, three one step heads, three acrobats. With the plus two AP that we now are able to have, we're able to fit those three in on the defensive side of the ball. And one step ahead is my favorite ability on defense for current gen. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, wow. I did not think we were going to get a pick on that. Team Maze made the play. I did not think we were going to get a pick on that. That was a big time play by Team Maze right there. We have our corner out. Kittle, nice catch. And that is actually gonna do it. Great game to our opponent. You know what? We're on to game three. Here we go with game three. We're actually gonna be in our opponent's Super Bowl for this one. Here we go. We're just gonna start this one off with an inside zone. Ooh, they, they had inside stuff. They stopped that run really easily. And you know what? I actually wanna make a sub right here. But this is, this is gonna be a fun one. This is definitely gonna be a fun one. They're in the 335 I, which is a very effective defensive formation. So definitely looking forward to this one. And we'll see what we can do. We will see what we can do. Looking slander post right here. Looking slander post. And we have our slant. We have our slant. Ayuk, nice catch. This is a big third down though. I already mentioned in the in the first game on current gen that I feel like uh, you don't want to get to a fourth down and get the and get that pressure down going early on in the in the game. So hopefully here we can pick this up. But if we do get to a fourth down, we just I just want to continue to get to see what they want to do on defense. Looks like they're playing more zone. They're playing more zone. Ayuk, let's go. Looks like they're playing zone to start this game off. And we're gonna have our slant. Nope. We have our crosser though. We have our crosser. Ayuk. Ayuk with a great start to the game. Looking to the outside on this quarter route right here. We're not gonna have, we're not gonna have. We'll, have, we'll take the small screen though. We'll take the small screen. Good job, Randy. We're looking for our post going across the middle here, but if we don't have it, we're gonna take the zig. We'll take the zig. I want to take my underneath stuff this game. I feel like the game that we lost in this one, I feel like we didn't take our underneath stuff in the first half. And that's kind of what would what, what cost us the game, right? So if we have underneath stuff, I feel like I should just definitely take it. We don't want to put ourselves in a position where we have to come back again, right? Because that was not a position we wanted to be in going into halftime from that first one. So we'll see what we can do here. Oh, we have our slant. We have our slant. And let's go. They're going to start this one off in strong close, which has a lot of good pass plays and a lot of good run plays. We're going to play the run early. If they start to pass the ball more, then we'll adjust to that. Was that a dot? Is that a dot? Is that a dot? Okay, it's not a catch. Let's go. All right, they started the game off with two passes. So, oh, they're going to have a dot. They're going to have a dot. Oh, no. Oh, no. Can we catch up? Can we catch up? All right, good tackle. Good tackle. They started off this game passing. So we're going to start to play the pass more. We're going to start to play the pass more over the run. And then we'll, we'll adjust from there if they start to run the ball more. Looking to shoot the gap on any run plays right here. It is a run. Let's go. All right, we're able to get a tackle in the backfield. I'm watching the middle right here for any pass plays. I'm watching the middle. Ooh, nice scramble. Nice scramble. Can we get a hit stick? P. Willie. P. Willie. Can we go? P. Willie, what a play! They were able to stop the run in the 3 3 5 We'll see if we we're able to run the ball against this. Nope. We're not able to run the ball against this either. So, pretty much inside zone, we're not going to call much anymore. Looking for our seam right here. I think we have it. I think we have it. Ayuk! Ayuk! Let's go, baby! Let's go! I'm watching for this motion over McLaurin if it gets over the top on us. It got bumped. Nice read. Nice read. Good tackle. Nice read. Actually, going to send a little bit of pressure right here. Try to. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, it wasn't a streak. If that was any route to go over the top, that was going to be a touchdown. It happened to be an in route. And because of that, we got to pick six. If that was any other route, that was going to be a touchdown. We'll take it. You know, this 49ers defense has been playing like they really want that top spot. Can we get a pick on that Rod? Rod Woodson. This Niners defense is playing like they want that number one spot. I'm not sure if we're going to get there. We'll figure it out after the video. But they're making, they are definitely making a case to try to get it. We're looking for Randy Moss going deep right here. We are looking for Randy Moss. Oh, no. No, we're not going to have time to throw Randy Moss. Good defense. We're looking for this seam right here. Ayuk. Ayuk has really started off this game really well. I feel like Ayuk's just there to make the play every time we've thrown the ball that way. So the hitch might be there on this one. The hitch might be there. No, they usered it. We got the slant. 
Ayuk again. Ayuk again. We're looking for this corner route going to the outside. Nice job. Now, I actually realized we have Omaha right here so we can see their defensive coverage. We're going to take Moss on the outside. We should be able to get out of bounds on this. Nice job, Moss. They have a hard fight on the left, so we should have our corner route on the outside right here to Kittle. Throwing it low pass. Good job, Kittle. We're on the one. We're on the one yard line. We're going to take a timeout right here. Now, they've stopped our run both times we ran. So we're not going to go to inside zone right here. We are not going to go to inside zone. We are going to go to a pass. We have a couple pass plays here. As long as we don't get sacked, we should be able to uh, have no problems kicking a field goal if need be. You can see their defense. I don't see a flat on the outside. I don't see a flat. So we might throw Kittle. We might throw Kittle. Yes, we got Kittle. Yes. We're watching the middle of the field. Rod Woodson, can Rod Woodson make another play? Rod Woodson, oh, Rod Woodson has just been everywhere today, I feel like. Big fourth down right here. I'm watching the middle of the field. Oh, Rod, I thought Rod might be able to get there. Maybe if we held SWAT with the acrobat, we might be able to get there. Great dot. Oh, we got stuck, we got stuck. Oh, no, oh, no. Let's go. Team A's, Team A's. Oh, Rod Woodson again. I'm telling, I feel like Rod Woodson has been there all day today. Can we go, Rod? Oh, Rob Woodson has just made plays all game. And that is actually going to do a great game to our opponent. That's going to do it for the video as well. I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope you all are enjoying the theme team series. And if you are, please remember to like, comment, subscribe. Only if you want to. Take it easy. Peace. That Niners defense, they really made a case for a top two spot. Maybe even a number one spot. We'll see the rankings in the next one.